So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not playing your games. Fine. But I'm not cashing in this contract with the partner I don't trust to get the job done. We'll have this conversation again later.
Bring the back. Okay, now that we've had it out in the ring, can you agree not to message me anymore? What are you talking about? I don't think I've ever messaged you. Right, fine. Then can your anonymous burner accounts stop messaging me? I don't have anonymous burner accounts. You were the one messaging me and asking me all those questions. No, I wasn't. Let me guess. You got a bunch of random messages from an account who wouldn't leave you alone, and when you told them to stop, they said they'd meet you in the ring before Raw? Pretty much. I traveled all the way here just to make it stop. I did think it was weird for you to mess with me after I helped you on NXT 2.0. Looks like we both got played. Great. So that match brought us no closer to getting this person to knock it off. <sighs> hey. Did they ask you what your favorite smell is? No. Great, so that was just me. Well, let me know if you find out who it is. I want to take this person out. Same. And I will.
<laughs> well, that was fun. Honestly, I'm glad we got the chance to hang out. Even if it took you harassing me to make it happen. Oh, no. It's okay. I get it. I can get a little overexcited sometimes myself and take things too far. Although, asking my favorite way to prepare potatoes was just weird. But next time you have questions, just send me one big list and I'll get to them when I get a chance. I didn't send you those questions, Fanny. She did it again. Both got duped. What? You aren't the one who won't leave me alone? Oh, come on. I left my brother's wedding to come down here and end this. I didn't even get to do the chicken dance. And that's the best part. We need to figure out who's doing this. Send me everything they sent you. There's gotta be a clue in there somewhere. I will. But don't judge my answers. I was very honest. Two. On second thought, read them again and tell me if you can pick up on anything. Will do. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is a Tornado Tag Team Match. Introducing first, from Turkey, the Undead. Blessed with natural ability and Ralph's guidance, the sky's the limit for this superstar. Guidance is well and good, but you've got to be willing to take charge of your own career or you'll wake up one day and wonder where it went. This is a woman ready to do some damage. A young lady who loves to fight, Cora Jade. But does she actually like skateboarding? And her partner from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Amazing young talent, already won the NXT Women's Tag Titles and has main evented a number of times as a singles competitor as well.
I haven't seen this much blatant misuse of a skateboard in wrestling since the dynamic dudes. But Cora can get it done in the ring. Here comes Toxic Attraction, perhaps the most dominant tag team in NXT history. Well, certainly the most arrogant tag team in NXT history. And Gigi Dolan and JCG, Toxic Attraction! In short order, these two young women have established themselves as the dominant force in NXT. <laughs> Yeah, multiple tag team reigns, multiple main events. Dolan and Jane both have bright futures in WWE, even if they have a bit of an attitude problem. JC Jane, Gigi Dolan about to showcase their dominance in the women's tag division. You know, normally I'd say this won't be pretty, but in this case, it definitely will be. And we're underway with this tag team tornado match stemming from some social media duplicity. I don't know why everyone has to make such a big deal out of a harmless online prank. Harmless? That was unreasonable deception. I'm just glad I've never been catfished. You have, Saxton. You don't have a long-lost cousin. You've been sending your banking info to me. Seriously? Shoulders down. Could she fall and took this away? She breaks the ref's count. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Right to the heart. Really great swinging neck breaker. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh. Fall away slam. Re-entering the ring now. Oh, look at this. Hair pulled that slam. Big for him. could be really bad. Driven into the barricade. Oh! Dolan just mocking her opponent here. Oh! Catches a kick to the face. And a drop. That offense taking a toll on her. Into the barricade. Drives a foot into the stomach. Kidneys. Oh, oh my God. Beautiful athleticism. Sit straight into the barricade. Oh, punch him in the chest. Oh no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. I'm not in the barricade. Laura J just soaking it in, feeding off that energy from the WWE Universe. Ooh, a heinous rake to the back. Power bomb. Corey, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex for the victory here. Great officiating as the ref noticed she was on the ropes. Close line. She's got it. Shoulders down. The referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Ooh, slam with authority. Back in the ring now. Knee strike connects. She's losing some steam now. Then here come the punches. 
finishes. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. On stop. Inverted face lock. Driven down with an elbow to the heart. From the top. Through the air. And connects. Taken out from the top. Jane out for good. Two. And victory. What a win she picks up here tonight. Here are your winners. The Undead and Cora Jane. And these two really do make the perfect pair. These women absolutely earned this one, showing an impressive level of tag team expertise. So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? That sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the money in the bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky, too. Leveraging the briefcase. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it. I can play dirty when I... Then prove... Fine, I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official. Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Fall away slam! I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Oh, the back of the elbow. Gets out of it with a well-placed knee to the face. Back into the ring. Backbreaker. Oh, man. Sent on from the apron. And everyone 
needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. She steers clear of that one. DDT planted him. There are plenty of ways battling in this area could end in serious harm. On the apron now. Oh my gosh! She was planted. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. Down in a hurry. She's taking a beating here. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before and it doesn't end well. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Ooh-wee. Uncorks a thunderous chop. She heads into the ring. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Well, this is a warning to grab our stuff and go. Keep it in the ring, please. Saxon's a very fragile boy. Now would be the time for everyone to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Gets inside the ring. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. You can't take much more of this. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank. Otherwise, she's in trouble. Staved off that attack. Setting up for something here. She's going for it. She finds her shoulder up before one. I'm having a hard time believing that one. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Planted with a neck breaker. Hooking it up here. What's next? A panel suplex. Will it be? moment. Somebody pinched me. I, I gotta be dreaming. There's no way she's still in this match. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Uh-oh. Oh my god, what a move. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Uh-oh. Got snatched up here. Shotzi's in big, big trouble. The cover! And this one is over. Here is your winner, the Undead. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
happy now? See, I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst.
This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Turkey, the Undead. Given her history and ability, it's hard not to expect big things from this superstar. It's not that hard, Saxton. Potential means nothing compared to results. Let's see if she can get those. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi! Well, Shotzi had a long and arduous road to get to WWE, but now she's enjoying herself. Well, any road's gonna be long if you're driving a tank that slowly. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman. Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. The red hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown the rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. Ooh, man. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? Backbreaker. Uh, Shotzi caught by the counter. Brilliant countering by both competitors. What a headbutt. Vicious. She's starting to look concerned. Drops the elbow. She's getting something from under the ring. Looking like the newest prospect for the Rockford Peaches out here. Shotzi isn't being given any room to recover. Shotzi has run into a roadblock. seat to the action. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Makes her way back to ringside, but she can take all the time she wants. Oh! Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. Shades of the old EC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. She's got her in her sights. Kendo stick impact! Things not going how she'd like. This is where endurance becomes so important in the late stages of the match. She is wielding that kendo stick like it's her violent partner in crime. Just provoking her opponent, daring her to make the first move. She will wisely return to the ring now. Backbreaker! 
Undertaker. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. What a shoulder block. She comes up empty. Shotzi able to avert that. And another counter. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal forearm. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Right with the point of the elbow. Taking this to the floor. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? So take things into the ring. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Look at it capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. unexpected you defending me in the ring certainly was I was talking about Raquel we're tag team partners it's not like I don't like you you have literally told me before that you don't like me Ava fair point but I didn't know you you were just some new girl coming in to take my spot I get the frustration but that wasn't what I was doing. I was offered a WWE contract and given an opportunity to debut. Was I supposed to say no? Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kind of mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other, which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I do not. Well, this is not great.
We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness. But both of you save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly! Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Turkey, the Undead. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. This second-generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. And her partner from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. Ava Moreno is strong and very determined. And don't let that grin fool you. Behind her smile, you can see she is a volcano just waiting to erupt. It's a dangerous combination, Saxton. Speed, power, focus. It makes you wonder what she's missing that kept her from getting more opportunities. Buckle up, Ava Moreno is about to throw down like only she can. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. Think about the incredible resume of Raquel Rodriguez. In her first three years, she's been an NXT Women's Tag Team Champion. A Dusty Rhodes Classic winner, an NXT Women's Champion, and a WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. The personification of dominance in NXT and WWE since day one. Yeah, I think we can all agree that Raquel Rodriguez is getting better with every match. Even when she makes short work of her opponent. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shasi. Byron, one of the most unique women superstars in history, but she is quickly growing in popularity. 
Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman. Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. Hey, oh, man. Ah, kick. Nasty kick. Lifting them up. Relative ease. Followed up with a discus punch. in the corner. Raw tag made. Oh, and a kick. Right to the midsection. She's feeling the hurt here. Oh, put down face first. Tag is made. Steiner. Ooh, brutal body shot. Backs with a punch to the gut. Shoulder right in the midsection. A wind up and a thunderous double axe handle. Tagging her partner in. Shotzi ducks, nails a discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. It said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money in the Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. At the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> and look how far you've come. Got the timing right this time, and the ref didn't see a thing. If you had used the chair that fast in our match, I would have been done. I will admit, fighting a little dirty is a good time. You may have had a point. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? 
Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You want to face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah, not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. I love it. I'll face Shotzi. Then I'll take Raquel. Best of luck, partner. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Turkey, the Undead. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. This second generation superstar looks to finish on top in this one. Well, this is a true ballsy entrance. Superstars in history, but she is quickly growing in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Hey guys, I've been practicing this. Let me know what you think. <clears throat> that wouldn't have scared off a mailman. Is she a rooster? Uh, you don't get it. After reacquiring their stolen briefcase in a tag team match, Ava Moreno's partner is now facing Shotzi one-on-one, -on -one, while earlier tonight, Ava took on Raquel Rodriguez. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi individual lessons about stealing. But it feels like something other than morality is at play here, especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into a beat-the-clock challenge. And Ava's already set a tough time to beat at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. Back suplex on the apron. Put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. 
neck breaker. She's enduring some damage. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. taken apart here. Shotzi has to find an opening and respond. Getting tossed. <laughs> Stunning display of power. Taking shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Top pro putting it all on the line. From the top. Yeah. Drop. And she is rapidly dictating the pace. Yeah, she's proven difficult to grab a hold of. She's starting to drag a little bit. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Into the corner now. Big time move coming up. Oh, positioning it, top rope, heading up there. This is not going to be good. Could be catastrophic. Superplex. This could do it. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, the Undead. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. The deal's the deal. You beat my time of 347. Whenever you want to make a move with the briefcase for the Tag Team Championships, let me know. The decision is yours. And I'll use it wisely.